do with some wheelbarrows in this trail. So what I'll do is put them in the bear and Z and the uh, seals and uh, good old tool. I've got a jack sitting on the back here to jack this up. All I do is under the wheel nuts. Once I do that, can see that in the trail. So I can just sit them in here with the other tools because what I've got here is I'll show you. I've got a bush driver. I'm just taking that up the wrong way. So what I've got is a bush driver here. I'm not going to have to spend any time. Put all this crap back in there, what I've just got there. I'm going to have to put which way's up and which way's down on this because I can see every time you open it. You're going to end up tipping them out. Just take this wheel off. Okay, to get these off, just carefully tap the cap, just like that. That's all you have to do. Sit that there away. Yeah, we've got a split pin here, what we've got to get out. So what I've got to do is move this back, so I've got to get to the side of it. Just pull that split down around. Right, next thing is one of these rags because you know this stuff's oily. So just grab a rag and um, when you're taking these off, try not to put the rag in the dirt off. See, this one spins. This bear in here, if you hear it, this one's not too bad. I'll show you. The other side's the bad one, and um, I'll actually show you why the other one's a bad one when I get it off. But now it's going to be just getting this, this bloody clip out because it's all mangled. Trying to get that this clip out, just been reeling it, forcing it up. I could just try and get this thing out. It's um, jam in here. This one got a pair of vice grips here, I can use on the top. Of it. Right, they don't want to go leave them clips in um, on the green. Should be a washer or something behind it. No, there's no washer on that. Just there. Don't know why there wouldn't be a washer. Right, let me just pull this off. This is our seal in the back, which I didn't ever bring us. Never brought a seal puller with me. Real good, was it? So we'll be getting that out with a screwdriver. Yeah, you get this seal out, all you have to do is put your screwdriver in here, hold down on it, it's just a rubber seal in here. That someone's put in it. We. Like they've used silicon to hold it in. That's the bearing from the outside. The sleeve looks dry in there too. What we need to do is we need to check our sleeve, our seal we've already got. Where's our seal? Alright, 
that. Let's get some more tools out. I've got to set up that in here. I've got a center pump. I'm going to punch this. Punch this bloody. one right that's, that's the easiest one now this real big one here he's been in here a fair while so what we're going to do is just turn it around have it angle one down and then find out where the slot is and make sure you're hitting the hitting the the um, thing too because if you're not getting up hit in the back of it so just make sure you're watching it I'll show you in a minute so get this out just bloody getting it I've got it a bit crooked Here. Got it. There we go. There's the one out. What now? Yeah, what I was going to show you is it's got slots in here. See them two slots here? Show you with the punch. This is where you strike it to get them out. Them two grooves. This one here's got them two slots on it too. So, um, right, eh? We'll get this cleaned up and we'll get ready to drive the new racing. And um, I'll show you the next step. Alright, we've cleaned up the hub. I've got some 4 by 2 and we're sitting on the concrete here. You need a proper space to work on. Right, so we've got the bushing. This is how the bearing sits in there. Just like that. But we don't need that needle bearing, we need to drive this in here. So what I did is, I've selected in this case the bushings I've got here, I've selected the right one to fit in. So all we have to do is, is sit this bushing on top, get our tool, get our hammer. Now it just stop for a minute, and we just want to make sure that it's going in straight. So it looks like it's going in pretty straight. Make sure you don't have any crap or anything because we can't afford to damage the inner race of this bearing. What we're driving in. And you'll be able to know when it's hit the end of it where it stops. You'll hear the noise change. That's it. We've drove that one in there, you can see it's in flush. Do not mark it, whatever you do, that race. Do not mark that brand new race with anything, because that's what the bearing runs on. So if you if you mark it, you damage this, it'll be no good. So what I need to do with, I was an idiot, I should have went around the corner and got other stuff for that. So hang on a sec, I'll just grab that. I've just grabbed the other bearing because we've just turned it around and uh, we need to use this one now so we just take the bearing out see our bush in bush it like that don't worry about our bearing put our bearing back in the car make sure you put all your plastic and stuff in your pocket too don't go leaving all your plastic and that lying around clean up after yourself so what we need to do is is um I might leave that smaller attachment on, but what we need to do is here, I'll show you. See how, how big our, our ring is here. So 
So we need to get our driver set. This one here. This one here looks like it's pretty good, but what we'll do is we'll just check the next one up. Just see about the next one. Number 59, that one is. This is 58. Yeah. Will 59 go in the hole? No, see that? See how 59 will get stuck in there? Then we'll be damaging that when we get it out, so we won't be using 59. We'll be using 58. And there'll be constant pressure on it. Just make sure that one will go in the hole, yep. But you don't drop it in there like I just did. But what we need to do is put our put our driver on. Do I have our screw? And we'll just make sure that it will clearance the hole. It's got a little bit of give, but that's alright. So put our bushing in. Make sure you do not put your bushing upside down because you're going to have to build it back out. <laughs> it could be easily stuff up like that. And we just put our driver in here. Yep, we got it going in crooked here. Just tap that bushing on this side of it with the tool. So I don't like about these bushings when you go to drive them in. They can, they can end up running off a little bit, if you know what I mean. And um, you've got to make sure they're going in straight. Otherwise, if you put them in crooked, you'll get them down so far and they won't be fully in. Or if it gets cocked too much, they'll end up getting jammed in there. And then if you're trying to build it on one side, you could end up damaging where this bearing runs. So just be very careful. If you damage that centerpiece of it, it's no good. As soon as you hear that noise change, that's the bearing in. And just check it. You can see it's flush in the in the holder. That's just a little bit of old, little bit of old grease there in there. It's not dirty or nothing. I've already wiped most of it out. Just get that last little bit. All right. And what I'll do is I'll now these both of these both of these races are in properly. As you can see, they're both in flush. Just checking to make 100% sure. They're both in. They're both driven in flush. No problem. Yeah, but can we get it in that? We've got to get this seal. Looks like in that groove though. I think I've gone a bit far with it. Yeah, I we'll have just a tad. So what I'm gonna to have to do is push that, push that back in. Right, that's it. That's our seal. That's our seal done. And I think oh, that's our seal done. So what we need to do is now is to drive that in there. I do have that other driver which I'll probably have to go and get. I'll go and get that. Hang on, I've got a bigger one here. I've got a real big one here. Yeah, we can use this to drive that in. So what I'll do is I'll just undo the screw. Put that one back in the kit. Oh, hang on, shit. We better not put that in there yet because we've got to um, put our grease in for our new wheel bearing. So we've got the wheel bearing grease here. Just before I put that in, what I'll do is I'll just grab a tissue 
and I'll just go around carefully just inside that race like that so it's all clean and what I'll do is I'll put this new wheel bearing grease in here in this race and what we need to do is just get this bearing what I've got in my hand and we need to pack this bearing with grease so we just need to sort of knead it all into the bearing so the bearing's full of new grease if you know what I mean when when I say pack it we need to jam it all in and roll the bearing around so it's coming out and that brand new bearing's got something to roll on right and we just drop our bearing back in like that now you're gonna need a clean rag to wipe your hands just to wipe any of that grease off and um, I'll just get a bit more grease here just to put on here Right, I'm happy with that. Now, just don't go sticking in here. Keep the lid back on the grease container too. Alright, let's get our seal. I reckon I might be able to squeeze a bit more grease in that bin. Just because it's a new seal. And once you put that seal on there, we won't be able to get any more grease in it. But that seal will force grease. around to the axle of the trailer so first of all let's just put some nice clean new grease on the shaft don't go putting much on there because we'll just get pushed out let's just do that because that will give it lube to slide it on and then let's get our, our um, spline whoops hang on a minute I've just noticed a little problem here this part of it here is a bit dirty we need to clean that off because that's what the seal is going to seal on so hang on a minute just got a bit of old grease in that honey now what I'll do is I'll just use my fingernail to remove it because what that's going to do is if we don't if we don't clean this part up properly, it's going to allow the dirt to get in. Whatever you do when you're wiping it like that, don't ever go wiping it, any of that crap on the shaft. What well, we just put that grease on, because you'll be putting that into the into the bearing. But we don't want that crap in there. All right, I've just packed the bearing. Only thing I didn't show is I pulled this seal out once I drove it in and that driver. I packed the bearing on the back side so what we've got to do is put it on now advise you when you put this on make sure whatever you do don't go pulling the um, shaft back out that makes sense
just doing it. All right, where's our split pin hole? Got our split pin here, but where's the hole? Um, what I'm saying is I'm going to get a new washer and a new nut for this and what we're going to do is we're going to put the cap on it at the moment just to keep any crap out of it and we want to get this crap out of the cap too because what will happen is we'll work that stuff into the new bearings so we don't want that either that's a big no no too so once we clean this shit out that's good enough put that over the over the hub where's my hammer don't go using a hammer this big to put it back on but just 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 tap it back on the hub and this side's done for feel like a sort of a chatter when you spin it. Right, let's get it right. and take the slip pin in and you just pull that off and once I get ready to drive out the bushes I'll show you what was causing all this noise. just be careful because you end up banging all this up just sit that right and we just pull this off this whole thing just pull the whole thing off then all right now they make a seal for the tool but a hammer then your hammer will do all right too just put it in here Get down the seal, just pop it out like that. That's the seal we just took out, and the spring just happened to come off it. Put that junk in this, this old box. Now, the reason why this bearing was making that noise is this is the old bearing, that one's already fell out, and this bushing here, I'm gonna give us a look at it. What was making that grinding and chatter is um, in here. Hopefully, the sun can pick that up in the camera again. You'll see all these grooves in it where the bearing's been running. When I knock this out, I'll um, give you a better look at it. So, what I need, I've just got to be careful here because what I'm doing these parts and that, because when I've got um, made the grass in that here, I don't want to bloody end up forgetting about a bearing. And um, actually damaging them. So we've got our pump in here. Stuff's filled up. Over time, there's another groove here, but I think it's packed with old grease. I think I can see it. I think what's going on here. Oh, shit. I don't think we should be knocking this um, race arena. That tool out of the way for a minute. It appears we've got a lot of old grease. 
compacted in behind this. I think I've moved it. I think it did, yep. I've cracked it. Not as in cracked it as, you know, broken. But I've definitely, the bigger hammer. Got it right up to the edge, but bloody hell, it's tight. Got it. We got her out. You can see it all pitted in here. You just look. See all that pitter? And the grooves in it. This is the front one. This one wasn't too bad. The front piece of it. It was the back part. It's um, noisy. Now we've got to get this bigger one out. And they're um, always tight. And they're also not the easiest to see on. I need a big hammer. Shit. Watch my finger. Oh, we got it to move then. I'll give it a good while. Shade. It's nice and cool. It is winter time here at the moment still, so it's not hot as in scorching at the moment. See when you don't have a proper proper bench and stuff, it's hard to see what you're doing in this in this cap. So what I've got to do is stop, lift it out, and um, make sure. Metal file or something, you know. Ain't doing mine. Sounds like it's almost going to fly. Got it. Get this bastard out. Right. Now I have to clean up the hub. Whoops. I'm gonna get shit all over the clothes everywhere. Right now I'll show you why this one was so noisy. I'll clean it up for a rag. Perfect. Now see all that pitching? Hopefully the camera can pick this up because I don't know. If I can or not, but you see all that pittering in there. When you rub your fingernail, you can, you can feel it grabbing your nail, and um, that's what causes that. <coughs> you get that <coughs> when you go and spin the wheel real fast. That's trash. All right, now, now we've got that crap out. Just get a rag in there. I'll clean this crap up. drive something in and um, it wants to keep coming off I 
right let me just check just to make sure that that is hard up against it which it is the bigger race in there got the small one in you got to make sure that the bloody um, they're all clean because otherwise you'll be putting dirt and shit in with them quite bloody handful. even though the hands look dirty they've got no um, dirt or grime or shit on them so let's work out which one we use to put this in number 58 that's one we already used before all right let's drive in this seal pushing me race fraction more see we got that time make sure it's hard up against in there which it is another one's hard up against it right here now I need to get up and stretch my legs in that for a minute my legs are killing me from sitting down Should be able to just push this back. Whoops. I went too far. Once you got it. That's it. And then we need to get that little screw right. I'll show you how to do that. Driving on the seal like this. Just pull the seal around. That's it. Got the front and the back. These are marine seal from marine boat trail. This is not a marine boat trail, right? That's what this seal is. Then I'll try and work it out. Right. Now Get, make sure you got clean hands. So, what in the rag? Make sure you got any of that crap off it. Get your new down. There's a big down. This one goes on the rear. What we need to do is, is we need to pack our bins. So, how are we going to do that? is try and force the grease in in the back of the bearing by hand and also turn the bearings and 
reinforce it in the front with your finger. It's a messy job. But that's what you gotta do. You gotta ram that grease in there. Otherwise these bearings will run dry. Alright, just like that. Drop the bearing straight in. Now, we're not done there. What we want to do is, is grab our grease. Just as so. Like that. And get our seal. Put our lid on the grease, of course. And get the rag. Wipe that grease and get off the hands. Because I've had plenty of practice on the other side, we're going to cheat a little bit here. <laughs> we can see you drive it in there. Seal. And what you can do is, is just turn it up on the side with the hammer. And just tap it. Tap it in that last tiny little bit. That lip of it. Just a tiny little tap. And then we're going to install this back on the trailer with our rag and our new bearing for the front, which we've got right in. Make sure you get your hands out of dirt and shit, don't you? Just like that. Now don't stick that bearing on the axle yet. Get a blob of grease. Like you've got here. Check your bushing, make sure the bushing's nice and clean. Surround this bushing before we go ram or anything in it. And put some new grease on the inside of it, like that, and you'll see it. That bearing in there is nice and greased up. All right, now, next, next job. Oops, we better put some on the shaft. Do not forget about that. shafts in good nick too right and then when you go to push it on like that now as you can see I've got a little bit of crap on my hands here so we do not want to be touching that bearing I just picked that up by pushing that shaft on the on the outside where the wheel runs so what we need to do is make sure what my hands clean well, I put that shit in there, we're going to wreck that new bearing. So we'll leave that rag up. And what we need to do now is, is I'll just take this back out for a minute. And I'll just jam that fresh grease. And we'll just put that fresh grease in there. <clears throat> and then we just got to get our washer. Now don't use the same hand, what you've had on here. Use the other hand. So you can fill it up with nice clean grease there. And as I said about that rule, whatever you do, do not stick the grease what you've had in the jar. Like I see that blob of grease on my finger. Do not put that back in the jar, whatever you do. Just leave that and pack this in here. Just wipe the grease. Don't worry about wasting it. Because you've got to remember, we're not putting dirt in the truck in brand new wheel bearings here. We want to be making sure we're putting clean grease. And you easily would put old, or trying to save the grease and put it back in the container. So make sure we wipe our nut properly. And that's what I've got to get for the other side, a new nut in a washer. So, once you've got that, don't worry about that old bearing there. And you've got to recheck your bearings and all that. So I don't recommend you drive the trailer and you do this once and then you go, oh my bearings are right. Because that's just bullshit.
because these will loosen up after a little bit. Right, so what we need to do is... We've got a split pin here. See this split pin here? See this, how it sits in here? Get it in there properly. See how, see how it jams that nut? Stop that nut from coming off. That's how you, this, this is what the size of the split pin should be. Not that other thing. That other thing won't do nothing. So what you do is you just twist this up and this is going to be taken back off because I'm going to bring in other new pins. I've got a whole kit of these because this other side needs a washer in it and I need to make sure I put the right washer in the other side before this trailer goes anywhere. Oh. What that pin does is stop that nut from coming undone. Which that nut can't come undone. And we just need to wipe that cap out. Fuck that rag's dirty. Where's the other rag? Use this one. This one's only been white with clean grease. Oh, that's good. Now, yeah, what we need to do is, you hit that cap. That's for him. Oh, and that will loosen. Put me dirty greasy hands over everything. That's not very good. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, share, comment, and have a great day.